You're listening to Artie Tune, a podcast with artists created and produced by Detlef Schlick, a visual artist and ritual designer, living and loving in West Cork, and best known for his essay about the cause and effect of shamanism, art and digital culture. Working in the field of performance, photography, painting, sound, installations, and film he will dive and discover with us and a weekly creative guest into the unknown and exciting deep ocean of the creative mind. This is That Left Schlich, and today we dive into the deep and unexpected ocean of uh, creative minds, of the creative minds today together with um, is Dominique van Zenger. Dominique is, is a, a, a musician from, from, from Germany and uh, he, he used to play in, in different bands. Uh, um, one band was... Um, I'm, I actually, so let's say it like this. So I know him actually from Cologne. Somehow from, from 30 years ago, we had one session together. We, we, don't, we didn't know us really. It was just we came together and had a session. Uh, and... Uh, I catch up with him a couple of months ago via 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 Facebook, and we we he used to play as well with with a friend of mine, with Vladi. Um, um, I used to live together with Vladi for for a long time. So uh, oh really? The, the, yeah, the, the world is a, is a, is a very small place, and uh, I'm so happy to to have Dominic here. Hi, Dominic. Hello, hello. Hi. Hello, everyone. <laughs> it is great, Dominic. Um, we, in the first part, we 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 were talking about my pleasure. <laughs> His pleasure. Um, uh, we talking about uh, the way how Dominic came to 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 his music, and I really enjoyed that. And Dominic still is wondering um, how people can 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 be excited to to listen to things like this. And and I think it is really, it is not just. About our talk, I think it is in general necessary to keep the discourse going of art <coughs> and music in, in general and how can we um, create a better world with art and music is art too you know so so mm. so i think i think it's very necessary to 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 spread words like this out in the world you know and Dominic. Uh, we finished the first part with with the seventy five where Dominic was coming back from 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 Hamburg to Cologne and was playing with with musicians uh, where where not the rules exist like nowadays nowadays everyone is a specialist and everyone is better than the others you know and and at this time there was something like 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 a community something like like love and and come on let's do this shit together you know. If I understand it right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Long, long sessions. We, do. we don't care. But there was uh, bands of all styles already, you know. But anyhow, we had a pool. We had same interest. We wanted to make concerts. We wanted to have places that were not there. And we, we, we helped each other to make festivals, you know, with yeah. other bands <clears throat> and other people come here and there. It was like, you know, community like the big one. If if I at that time I looked at Grateful Dead, you know, and then you you see Grateful Dead, they have, they play there, they play there, wow, and he plays there, and he and and it it fell to me, look there, they everyone's playing with everyone. Why don't yeah. we do that? You know? yeah, okay. And and okay. and we uh, try. I try to live that a little bit. Yeah. 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 So and, so and Grateful it, it Dead. Worked, it worked. So it, so, yeah, so, Grateful so, Dead. so so. So Grateful Dead was 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 somehow a role model for you. <clears throat> um, it's dangerous to say um, because I had too so much uh, interests. But like Grateful Dead, I uh, imported records from America to listen to. Um, how how uh, did you import them? Did you did you did you? Uh, oh, you buy a music paper and you find a distributor, uh, and they advert. Yeah. Yeah, on the pa on the paper you find it. Yeah. And you uh, 
uh, write, I don't remember, I write a postcard or I go to the record shop and they, they deal it for you. Ah, okay. Yeah? Uh, you go uh, to yeah, a yeah, vinyl yeah. shop yeah, and yeah. you say, I want this record and they get it from America. I uh, even got them by post also. All right, yeah. Okay, so you bought, yes. you bought, you, you bought records then from, from Grateful Dead? For example. What, what else? I, 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 re I remember one record I never saw again. Uh, there was a electronic computer music from Grateful Dead. I don't know. <laughs> what? Phil, 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 yes, Phil Versch Sea Stones, it, it's called. Okay. It was very weird. It was not uh, Jerry Garcia, no? Yeah, it yeah. was uh, really so. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, I, I mean, and, I can uh, imagine uh, that. Fantastic record from the drummer, uh, um, from there's Bill Kreutzmann and the other one, and uh, it's a Diga Rhythm Band. I don't know if you know that. No. Uh, Diga Rhythm Band. No. It's only percussion. No. Uh, it's wow. only percussion. I mean, I, I, would, I played it, that to Jackie Liebezeit from yeah, Can, and he yeah. was really excited about. Uh, there's one track on it. It's a Seven Rhythm. Yeah, you know, seven, seven, yeah. and it's called uh, the uh, the seven. The uh, I don't remember something with seven. Um, um, yeah, I don't, um, uh, if you I, if you, if you have the name of this band, I would love to to listen to it to 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 figure that out. D if, D if, you send, if you send me the link or or mm -hmm. or, the, or the name, not yet later, yeah, yeah. I will put mm -hmm. that as well into the description. If people yeah. are interested in that, they can they can. Oh, that special it. track you find uh, you find in the net, yes. And also, um, I listen to traffic. Sure, I uh, mean, yeah, yeah. Traffic was and was was with uh, Air, uh, was Eric Clapton in it? No, Stevie Winwood. Steve, yeah, Steve Win. Yes, yes, sorry. And um, Steve Winwood. I mean, Rebob Quakuba. What was it? Rebob Quakuba. Rebob. Quakuba, is a uh, conga player from okay. Uh, Ghana. Okay. Who came to London? All right. And then he played with the BBC uh, orchestra, but he became a very influential. Uh, percussion conga player he, to me the best one around he was yeah and late la later yeah. later you see it, maybe I mean, third I'm part i'm seven years maybe younger than that's you 30, there i was young and i didn't know these people um and i bought records from oh man so many i had so many records i sold them later when i was poor you know i only have some left you know but i i sold so much good records Me but too. also my thought later yeah. was and that we come to the second part here yeah a uh, breaking i fine yeah i was i was really influenced you know In, influenced yeah I, I listened to records records and i i you know it influenced me and 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 that gets sure. too much because then after all this comes to as i told you comes to a point when we didn't care we play we play you know yeah. uh -huh, this is a this is d this is e and yeah doo -doo 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 and, -la -la -la, and they play like this and they play yeah. and then it comes to the point i meet i meet people who say uh, uh, uh uh, 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 no. What is that? No. And they say even that when uh, uh, some famous thing run in the radio, say listen, uh, uh, you know. And uh, then when yeah. I, it makes me, uh, so yeah. they did. They didn't want you to play this and that. They 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 wanted no, to, no, to have something no. different from you. It was like. Finally, in Cologne, I became a, a member in a band. We play so great. We play all the disco stuff. We play Stevie Wonder. We play Freddie Hubbard. We play. How, how old uh, have you been then? There. I'm already uh, twenty-five. Also, okay, that, that's quite, quite. Yeah. Twenty-four, twenty-five. So, and then we make big, big shows. Yeah, yeah, with yeah. horn section, 
uh, Klavinett and we make a really big party band. Ne? Yeah. And it was so good that I what? stopped work working. I stopped oh, right. Working. So, so what was the name of this band? I, I moved out and I had my own place. And this band, he's Cologne Funkbone. Cologne? Funk bone. Well, that no. So, 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 no. That, it was that, that like a, a party band, you know, that made money. But then they were all fans from a guy in Amsterdam. I didn't know that guy. They say he's the best showman in the world. Yeah. I didn't know him. Yeah. Called Django Edwards. Ah, Franz I Rocho. saw his show. <laughs> yeah, Franz Rocho. Yeah. And one day, uh, one of this saxophone player, also a big fan, got a telephone call. Can you come to Amsterdam? My band uh, is obsolete. Uh, I, I have concerts. We need a band. Yeah. And he took me with him. And we arrived there in Paradiso. Yeah. I, I, I went on stage and I played him one of my songs, my own song. Okay. With, with the words, you don't have to discuss it. I'm telling you. When we all play together, love will get us through. Sure. Yeah? Yeah. Very simple, yeah? Dim, yeah. Dim, 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 dim. yeah. And, and he said, well, great, I make a chorus. We play that tonight, you're in it. <laughs> and I was booked, yeah? Yeah, it's cool. Then I, then I played that night in Paradiso. Yeah. We got a, he got a practice room upstairs in Paradiso, in yeah. the attic. Yeah. And we moved to Amsterdam. We all lived in one cracked house in one room in the Rosengracht. Like what you hear so far? Make sure you never miss a show by clicking the subscribe button now. This podcast is made possible by listeners like you. Thank you for your support. Now back to the show. In one room in the Rosengracht. Fantastic. You know, electricity comes from neighbors, but we only were there to sleep. We only were there to sleep. To eat, you have to eat. You have konsumtibong. Or what Meltek. is that? Well, how konsumtibong? What is it? Con, con, consume a chip. You get this roll every day. You have a meal. Ah, okay. In the Melkweg, in the cultural center. All right. You know? yeah, yeah. And you get fantastic food and whatever you want. Yeah. yeah. And that is around five to six o'clock. It opens and eight o'clock uh, the public comes, you know. And then we go uh, in Holland, we play somewhere, you know. Uh, yeah. 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 It, yeah. it, it was great. <laughs> then uh, there was a lot of people from Cologne. We took over from my old bands, their school bands. We took uh, Michael Richter, Stefan Krachten, later Dunkelziffer. Yeah. And, and he played the drums and <coughs> it was almost a German band. And the English keyboard player, Stanley Haywood, I love him. We still have contact. He's a fantastic guy. Is He's he still, still making music as well? He's playing now uh, a clarinet. Uh, and sax, yeah, clarinet and he makes a fantastic He's a is he still smart guy. is he still making yeah. music too or yes 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 and <clears throat> and then it became bigger and bigger and the Cologne people went off and this was a community of theater people clowns musicians everything yeah now it, it became to one lead singer or lead person a lead stuntman lead clown. And this was Django and band then. Yeah, yeah? Yeah. But then we became bigger and bigger. Yeah. Now it took me back to Hamburg. We make big concerts. Together Udo with, 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 with Django. Was Udo Lindenberg sitting in front in Berlin. Nina Hagen wanted, uh, wanted the band to have. <laughs> and, yeah. You know, all these people yeah. from my younger days, they were stars now, but they sit in front of me. They didn't yeah. remember me. They didn't remember me, of course. Yeah. Yeah. I, I didn't care. You know, they, they, sit, they sit there. Yeah. And then uh, the absolute top was we play by the Chancellor of Germany at the garden party. <laughs> no way. Django Bundeskanz Edwards. Bundeskanzlerfest. Now. Who was it at I this time? Helmut Kohl? No, Helmut Schmidt. It was, it was still Schmidt there. Helmut Schmidt. Yes. No way. Uh, yes, and I, I know Helmut Schmidt when he was uh, in Hamburg, the Bürgermeister. All right. Yeah, yeah. and uh, yeah. 
Was 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 and he then, nice? He was probably a nice guy, wasn't he? Yes, and now he was the chancellor, and we meet again. And <laughs> all Cologne mus uh, top musicians, Black Fuzz and all these guys, you know, yeah, these Hamburg guys, all yeah. the famous people sit in the tent, yeah, yeah. And we want to start with my song. You don't have to discuss it. Yeah. And my uh, Verstärker, the the uh, amp. Your, your, your they amp stole the valves. It didn't work. So they stole your, your, your the, 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 the fuse of the amp. Yes, they were off. I want to start. It starts with guitar. Helmut okay. Schmidt sit two meters from me <laughs> on stage. And I see there's no red light. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Since then, I took off the red light. So it will never shock me again. So, so, so <laughs> it's, it's who, so who stole light. it? You don't know. We have... It what? was so se uh, secure. There was all security, you know. No way. I mean, was it was a sabotage? Was some somebody didn't uh, like see, you? Probably. Yeah, maybe they thought it's a bomb. The amp. So it was it was probably somebody from from an, from another band. So, so who, <laughs> who, who, who? This is like uh, we don't know. We don't know it. I I, I never May found out. Maybe you know? maybe maybe it was Helmut Schmidt. <laughs> no, and then we had a little amp backstage, and I just. Uh, with the cable, it just worked, you know, the sound was yeah, something and, and else. Then you, then you had a and mic. then I could start, so there was real action, you oh know. Oh, God! Yeah. Mm. Mm. But then um, I went back to Cologne, I still had a little apartment, yeah. and meanwhile, every time I was back there, I met these people from Cannes, like Roscoe G, like Jackie Liebitzeit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and they were in Cologne, no? I mean, um, yeah, yeah. Um, so, so that was actually because I had my rehearsal room together with with uh, Jochen Pape and Georg Brandl at the mm. Renania, mm -hmm. and uh, that was that that was at the time was it Kunsthaus Renania, and it was a great place for for for. But, but listen, but listen, that's later. All right, that's oh. much later. Okay. Okay, and we, are, we are not there yet. That's much later. Okay, you see, in like this said, special yeah. period, yeah, yeah, it was like 70, 80, 80s, um, where so much happened. So, so okay, yeah. so, 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 where, where, where are the things happen there? Where, where were the rehearsal rooms and all that? I mean, Renania mm. was still not, 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 not available, no? No, no, my Stolberg. parents also. Stolberg. My, my parents was away too. There were some other rehearsal rooms, but I I practice in Paradiso, and um, then Where? Paradiso, Amsterdam. In Amsterdam, okay, all right. But then when I went to Cologne, yeah, hmm, I had my tape machine. I make home recordings. Tascam. Yeah, and there was by the Musikhochschule there was a practice room from friends. I drop in there, we meet there, and then um, that's it. And then there comes the thing with uh, Ken <coughs> and with the Stolberg. So. so, so that means. So I just have to to uh, think how old I was because for me it was I was like I say so so uh, I'm, I'm I think seven years younger than you, and I used to work at the Stadt Köln as Beamter as the Stolberg was 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 running and all that. So actually, yeah. technically, I was not allowed to 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 hang around with 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 with, with all the all these punks and 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 anarchists. Yeah, yeah. You know? But who who knows what the Stolberg we talk about it uh, comes comes yeah. Um, then uh, the studio from this big band can. Um, I was invited uh, to come there and had a few sessions. So, so can, can was already established or what? Yeah, yeah. They were on top. And then Roscoe came to my place too. He came and listened to my tapes. Mm. People like Alan Banks, they come, listen to my tapes, yeah. you know. And we became closer, mm. and I thought in Amsterdam, wow, with the theater, with this clown, I want to make music poor. Okay, so all right. Now, can I now that? we yeah. come to the confrontation. Yeah. Now going to the Can Studio is a band that really turned things upside down to take a real look at it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And now we come to. 
where things become very Pre philosophical to me. And, pre and pressureful as well, wasn't it then, probably? Uh, it, it was a uh, horror. First it was, mm, okay, they, they, it's just a phase, you know, in one hour they're cool and we can play again, you know, but every day you realize, no, no, they mean it. Yeah. And before I didn't realize the way they make music yeah. was different. I thought they can't play. This I thought they can't play. They can't remember a track, you know, they make wild sessions like who, us. Who they can? Famous. Can, can yeah. or what? But they are, uh, they are famous and we are not. Why is that, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize, you know, that were music teacher and old, uh, uh, very veterans of music history. And, uh, you know, I didn't care, you know. I didn't, uh, da, 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 you know, the guitar player, he was cool. He said, use my stuff, you're great. And from from, from like Ken, from Ken I was. Yeah, yeah. Michael, he was always my friend. Who, who, who was the guitar player? Michael Caroli. All right. Okay. So, so, so and, 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 and he was, so, so, so that actually they, they wanted you as the second guitar player in the band. No. Then after a year or two years, I cooled down in Amsterdam the same time Ken off, off. So Ken stops. Yeah, to go to France. When was it? When was it? 76? Please 70? look. Uh, yeah, it was. Uh, I mean, they didn't stop officially, but they uh, split like one move to France, another one, and one in Cologne. Jackie stayed in the studio. What? He lived uh, there. And Damo was, the drummer, was there as well? And Damo, Damo, he was off. He was off already? Yeah, but then they had uh, Roscoe G from Traffic. From what? The Traffic, bass tra player. Okay. And Reba, this conga player. All right. They went, they went there. They were the last time with Ken, maybe two last album. They yeah. came there. Yeah. As, and, and you know, normally Holger Schuker was a bass player. Now he was making radio <coughs> and, uh, and everything. But then we go with Jackie and Roscoe, come to the studio. The yeah. studio is empty. Yeah. There is still the tape machine, 24 MCI. All right. Uh, he bought a tape. We make a recording. We make a record. We practiced every day, a year. A year, and it was empty cinema, you know. Wow, old which, which, which cinema was it? A old can cinema in Weilerswist, a little village near Cologne. In Cologne, the inner, it's yeah. called the Inner Space Studio. All right, so, uh, sounds like a great, great, great uh, location. Yeah, yeah, it was fantastic, and uh, big room with a street there. A very small village, only houses left and right from the street. So no trouble with and, neighbors? And oh, they accepted them because they became so famous. All right. Ma okay. Maybe, but they also, they were cool. They were cool and tolerant. And um, the drummer from Cannes, he picked us up in Cologne and bring us back in the night. More, more on some fear. At four in the morning, he bring us back home. <laughs> so he was, yeah? he, he was, he we was, we couldn't go there <laughs> <laughs> every day. <laughs> you know. So he was the only one who he was a, a designated driver. So yeah, he had a little little beetle, you know. All right. No, no seat on the right side because uh, he could put his ba bass drum in. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But uh, then we started and made a recording, and. This was also Roscoe G, the bass player from England, from Traffic. And this is also two worlds, because Roscoe was more, he liked more this kind of younger thinking and not going strictly into rules, uh, f uh, harmony free and, you know, fly away in a positive way. And making harmonies he was attracted he really featured me he really bring out but jackie the drummer yeah. he was really no 
no, tough, no, straight. No, no. Doof, 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 and doof, why? Doof. And then Roscoe had to go to England, and we were alone with, <laughs> with we the were tape. What? what? Alone, alone with the tape and with Jackie. You and Jackie, you both. And and Helmut Zalet. Okay. And a guy from also from this younger band, uh, Oleg Gelber, he played congas. Okay. Yeah, okay. Then um, then the hard stuff begin. So, so, then, so, so uh, Jackie, you, Helmut and, 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 the, and the conga player. Yeah, yeah, no bass. No bass. No bass. No. And then that was important. And then it, be it became even more uh, important later. But then we go into the school. I say the, uh, the can school. And from then on, there was no more doo -doo -doo -doo. there was no more, oh, I have an idea. Um, there was training. Training, you know. Uh, Re repetition, repetition, repetition. Uh, repetition, yes, but what do you repeat and why? And yeah. you start, and I was always an asker, you know, but I didn't care if there was no answer. Now, there must be answers. You, you so, always ask yourself, what is art? What is music? What, what is why noise? Are we, why are we going to do that? Why are we do the repetition, no, repetition, no, repetition? No, no, no. What is music? Why is uh, noise no music? Where does the music start? You can say noise is music. If you say A to B, that's my noise. I mean, But take take Einstein in the Neubau. Huh? I don't want to put it to the top, but if you understand what I mean, yeah. somewhere the noise divides from a regularity so, yeah. to a regularity. I so mean, there's millions of ideas, millions of things, and if, that means if so you your whole yeah. career, a musical mind is blocked. I mean, as if you, you say, as, as soon as you re repeat one one note or whatever, it is music. You know, if if you have two, no, if you have two no. things, you can make a loop out of it. You know. No, no, I don't think that is music. <laughs> it's very good what you say. You know, just a repeat or it's a pulse. You know, it's a pulse like a. a Yeah, but uh, yeah, the star is in uh, over the other star, always but, very regular. But, but, it's, but a, a it's what you see is a regular thing. But, but the but pulse is music, you know. No, no. Uh, for me, it's a pulse. Not music. what I. Is, that's, that's okay, very much so. But we take it one step more. Where does it start from? Only the pulse. I mean, you have to make doof 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 doof. And there's a break. Yeah, it can be another planet who is also coming that way. The other one is coming that way, pulsing, and the other one taking like the moon, you know, taking the light away. It's but now, absolutely, yeah. But now you start to create something which can't be natural. All right, I would um, say so. So to keep yeah. to keep this in our minds, and and uh, um, we start to create as well something. We we start in this moment to create. The, the, the end of the second part already. What do you have there in your hand? What is it? Ah, um, this uh, goes through all uh, the times from 80 till today. This is made from uh, wood. Yeah. In in uh, France, I bring bring. Okay. You know, I need this wood because someone wants to steal the guitar in the night. <laughs> <laughs> and this. Is a tambourine, yeah, and a piece of wood, yeah. And, wow, and you got, uh, but it's a little broken. But uh, can you can you can you switch on the lights that 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 we can see it a little bit better? Wow, wow, that, that all right, that, that that looks great. I mean, it is. And I piece. had a, a pickup in there, and I use it to play it with a big PA. All right, so that's that's a, that is a piece of artwork, and I would say before we're gonna go d deeper into that, we keep that for the third part because it is uh, Dominic. It's really so. I really love this chat. It brings me really back to my own to my own seventies, eighties, uh, 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 my earlier life. 
and uh, we continue that in the third part. <laughs> we, we, I hope we will get then, then, then in, in, into the age of of, of Stolberg and Renania and 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 all that somehow because that was my age where where I was working <laughs> with my bed. Dear listeners, um, join us to the third part. It would be great if 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 you if you if you come. I mean, this show is for you and not just for you, for us as well. Uh, Dominic, I thank you very much. And my my pleasure. <laughs> and I I see you in the third part. Take care. Yeah, bye. See you. Bye bye. This is a listener-supported show. I feel honored if you subscribe to this show. You can follow me non-financial with the following click on one of my Instagram accounts or subscribe the visual version of this podcast on YouTube via the link below. If you like what you hear, be sure to tune in this Sunday for the third part of this Attitude Audio Triptych. If you want to leave a donation for a coffee or a bus ticket, just follow the donation link via the Attitude Podcast account. Eventually, I would like to thank, through this medium, all my members and listeners of the I Love West Cork Artists Network from all over the world. Just to remember myself that without you, this year couldn't and wouldn't happen. You have listened to Artitude, West Cork's first art, fashion and design podcast. Artitude, never so close again. Ah! That was too close.